my gosh. This is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful postcard perfect summer day here in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm. The sounds of that planet nibbling going on next door reminds me that I need to uh, get out there and mow my grass with whichever planet saving mower I have but uh, before I do so as some of you know I I got up this morning and did a whine I did a whine about uh, you know the old doomsday lonely heart whine about uh, how lonely I am and how much I need a doomer chick in my life and how I'm so jealous about all of these other men who have uh, <laughs> who have found female company in their lives uh, and how I wish that I could find a doomer chick and so I did that whine and then I went to check my email and I went to thank the number one psycho bitch I have ever met hands down uh, in the Doomosphere for bringing me to my senses and this of course is that toxic nasty psycho bitch named Veronica Harris. Veronica, you know, keeps showing up in my life like a, uh, like a cockroach that I think I have squashed. I, I, you know, no matter what I do, I cannot convince this fucking bitch that I have no interest in anything she has to say about anything. Uh, I find her an absolute despicable, rotten to the core, uh, just, just nasty, toxic, psycho bitch, deserving of the C word. Uh, I guess I will do Sandy a favor and not uh, send Veronica the the C word. So anyway. Uh, I was sitting there feeling all sorry for myself that uh, I am an unintentional MGTOW. And then I have Veronica Harris to thank for bringing me to my senses. So uh, it's been, good lord, what has it been, two years since this fucking nasty bitch uh, has entered my life. You know, I've, I have banned her from both of my channels. She's not allowed to comment on either one of my channels. I banned her, uh, I blocked her on my Humpty Dumpty Tribe Gmail, and now she's tracked me down like psycho bitches tend to do. Out of nowhere, this woman uh, tracks me down at collapsechronicles.com and since she's not allowed to uh, to comment on my videos this was basically what elicited this it looks like is that video I did where uh, wondering if bugs in a jar farm would ever become an intentional community and the answer is no and one of the many reasons is because it would just pretty much be a sausage fest because virtually every uh, woman I have ever met down here pretty much not everyone but uh, I I I anyway it just wouldn't work so uh, since Veronica could not comment on that for some reason this came to her mind this uh, email that she titles you nailed it you nailed it everything you said is true almost the exact things that go through my mind I cannot wait for mother nature to murder us all 
I seriously can't wait. Bring it on. Extinction for all humans now. I hate that the beautiful animals had to go down with us. Humans, the cruelest cancer on earth. I keep humans away from me, even my own daughter and grandchildren. I do not want to see them with their needs and their mobile phones and their stupid idiotic lives on the fucking internet. I just can't stand it. I love being alone. I love my solitude. It is sacred. And I love not wanting someone or waiting for someone. It is total, meaning her solitude, is total and beautiful freedom. The little time I have left is mine alone. I hope you are enjoying the collapse. I have cried a river for our planet that has been murdered for money. My response to Veronica after that, uh, after that sweet love letter was, Veronica, I gotta say, of all the psycho bitch doomer chicks I have met down here in this cesspool over the last 15 years, you are the most persistent yet. You can rest assured there will never be a place for you at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Enjoy your solitude. So I sent that uh, to her and this was the response to this from the nastiest psycho bitch I have ever encountered in the Doomosphere. I am not a psycho bitch. You are just a misogynist. You hate the fact that I mirror your contempt, ugliness, swearing, and goddamn hatred for humanity that you have illustrated throughout the last seven years of me watching your videos. You can rest assured I will never be at your camp bugs in a jar. I would never want to be under your jurisdiction. Blah, blah, blah. Then she goes off uh, on a rant about Americans and the United States in general. She's some supposed self-described artist. I think she lives in France. She signs off, I will not bother you again. All right, I will not bother you again, which are the sweetest words I could ever hear uh, out of Veronica's mouth is, I will never bother you again. And then, what do you think after, uh, it looks like about an hour later, I get this one from some woman who promises me she will never bother me again. One hour later, who calls a woman a psycho bitch? A man who has never ever in his life come together with a woman in a real way. All your relationships failed. You were the baby in the family, the spoiled brat mommy's boy. You hate women because they refuse to bow down to your egotistical tyranny. I have a brother like you. Unless he is praised to the hilt, everyone else can fuck off. His ego is so huge, even his wife forgives his little digressions with affairs and strip clubs. She likes the wages he brings in. He is rich. 
The entire world is full of double standards. Even you can't be bothered to understand your own pathetic predicament. You post your videos and sometimes you sound almost intelligence, almost intelligent, and then you let yourself down because you have no fucking balls. You whine too much and you act like a little girl. Be a real man for once in your life. Show some dignity. Yes, I will not, uh, I do not need to, uh, need to, uh, tell you the full, uh, response, uh, that I, my last words to Veronica, although, except for maybe this line, I have not been laid in five years and I would not stick my dick in a fucking toot like you. I am a little unclear why you have not done the world a favor and put a bullet through your head. Anyway, and then of course I, I, got, a, I got a response from that. Uh, <laughs> and I just hit, you know, these little Google AI automatic responses. I, I, I just hit that. I, 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 you know, guys, what the fuck does it take to get through these fucking psycho bitches' head that you never want to hear from you again, you fucking bitch? But I do want to make... Uh, I do want to seriously send out a big thank you to Veronica for uh, reminding me about my glorious MGTOW freedom. And there is a flip side to all of those lucky men uh, with that beautiful woman by their side. You know, just looking at these goddamn couples and wondering, uh, you know, looking at these dudes with, with these goddamn women by their side, you know, and just asking yourself, you know, what kind of hell uh, does that poor schmuck suffer uh, from that bitch? Anyway, I'm uh, that little eco pussy over at Collapse Chronicles is trying to decide whether he should post uh, this rant that's rolling around in his head. Don't know whether to follow my own better judgment and do I post it on Collapse Chronicles? Do I post it here or do I just keep my fucking mouth shut? Uh, but anyway... It looks like the little, uh, whether they're lovebirds or best friends from uh, Holland, have driven off on their American road trip, summer of 2023. So uh, I need to go change the sheets up at Seahorse before the next couple of lovebirds gets here stain some more sheets at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Get out there and find somebody to stain sh some sheets with while you still can. Bye guys.